Eric. So my favorite trip that we've ever, or we ever did at Anastasis was our cultural pilgrimage, is that right? Our cultural <laughs> pilgrimage, because everything that I learned there is like real life and I use it all the time. And when I try to like explain, do you mean explain what we did? Okay, so we went to um, like a mosque, we went to a temple, we went to all these like religious um, houses and places where people practice their religion and before we had researched them all as much as we could um, and then when we got there we literally just sat down with these people and like talked to them and like extinguished any stere stereotype possible that they so anyway the stereotypes that these like cultures and religions have and I like that blessed me so much because now I can go and question and um, like research research look at these religions with like an unbiased opinion without the pressures and the stereotypes that everybody else in the world puts on these things and so it was so freeing for me to be able to see that and like to experience firsthand like that people with other religions aren't crazy whatever okay. continuing so i was talking with my friends and something was said about this like religion and i brought up something about like islam and how i like met them and how i thought it was like so awesome like when we were at the mosque it felt like like talking to those people were so they were so genuine and so and i was trying to explain that to them and, and i didn't have the vocabulary to articulate <coughs> how valuable that was for me and then i kid you not everyone at that table that heard me was making all these terrorist jokes and they're like, you want to be a terrorist blah, blah blah and i kind of was really taken back and i was like what little knowledge to like i don't even know the word Get what out. unintelligent <laughs> like it people. makes because of course there are extremists of all people and i'm not people saying that not people are educated terrorists but the thing is, is that like i had such a great experience that even what is that? Three, four years later, it means so much to me. I was furious because I was like, "No, that's not true. I'm gonna take you. We're gonna have a little conversation at the mosque because that's not true." And I was like really offended by it because that religious pilgrimage we did was awesome. Like, yeah, it literally just tears down. Like when people make comments that have to do with like stereotypes, it literally so makes my blood boil because like, no, I'm like about to like literally just pop, roundhouse pop, kick. Yeah. I get. I met with this lady that we met with a few years ago, and we talked with her again, and afterwards I was with my friend who I go to school with now, and she didn't have the same experience at Anastasis, and so afterwards we were talking about it, and she was like, oh my gosh, that was so cool, that was so amazing, because I hear all this about Buddhism, but when we were there, it was like this, and blah, blah, and like the whole time I was sitting there, and I was like, yes, yes, like, <laughs> you don't even know that, like, you don't even have any of it, but it's fine because you have a little bit and a little, a taste, little taste of yeah. life. And the thing is, is that like these restrictions that I keep announcing are so freaking big that you can't even like bungee jump across because the thing is that like these restrictions on like labels and all these other things, they're not strictly with high school students. They go off forever oh. until you die. And when I'm an adult, I am so <laughs> thankful that if I, my kid is in a class with someone who calls himself Islamic that my I hope that I teach my children that that does not mean they're terrorists I am so thankful that I have this knowledge now that my life is forever changed and I am not limited by those bounds well and it literally sorry <laughs> it literally, in case my drop please okay it's literally like the most freeing thing because it just like gives you this sense of like love for like the whole entire mm -hmm. world like before you kind of like if you see somebody that looks a little bit different it's like oh i feel uncomfortable but like as soon as that is just demolished like every person that you meet is someone new and unique and individual and it just makes like the world seem so much cooler like yeah. everything that you can discover and find and the people you meet and the stories that they have like it just becomes this one big like massive Oh, like yes like that Damn. is what I want to live and so people that live in the confines like by calling Muslims terrorists because one they think it's true or two they think it's funny and cool like you are missing out on so much and like we would have never experienced that if it wasn't for our spiritual excursion and I feel like the that spiritual excursion it made me way more open-minded and mm -hmm. one of my biggest pet like, peeves is people <laughs> are people who are extremely closed-minded because it's like you're missing out on so much of the world 
by thinking that this is the only way you can see the world. And, like, mm-hmm. how we were talking about, like, everything's so cool and, like, it's, uh, like, a big hug, like, <laughs> from the world. Like, I feel, I don't know, you can't have a closed mind to figure that out and that, that. pilgrimage or excursion. I so think that was one of the biggest parts that's, mm-hmm. like, ever made me so open-minded. It just, like, it's like getting glasses. Yeah, or, like, you just, like, see, and you're, like, this is it. Yeah, like, no, but, this like, is how it's even supposed to be.